Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Today we're going to do another catch and cook. And today we're going to be doing a catch and cook black nose shark. And we're going to be doing it a little bit different. I know I did one not too long ago. We did one. But this time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do General So's black nose shark. So real quick, check out this clip of uh, Amber catching this really big black nose. Then I will see you guys in the kitchen. We're not going to do a cleaning segment of this in this one because i've already done a couple cleaning segments but i'll put a link in there somewhere so you can check it out i'll see you guys in the kitchen guys I think he's running towards the boat. There he is. All right, babe's got him. All righty. Let's see what this one is. Uh oh, uh oh. Summer's already got the gaff. If we need it, that one's almost acting like a black nose, babe. He is screaming. <laughs> I can't do anything. He is screaming. <laughs> You're doing good, baby. You're doing good. This is a good way to hone your skills as an angler, coming out here and catching these big sharks or small sharks, but they're big fish. It's definitely a black nose. There you go, babe. Put the button. There you go. There you go. She's got him coming now. Pick up. Reel down. There you go. That's a nice size fish, babe. That, that's definitely not a sharp nose acting like that. Oh, that's a big one, babe. Ooh, <laughs> oh, that's a big shark. That is a nice shark. Oh, he's got the other line all wrapped around it. Oh, man. That's the only problem with sharks, guys. They will make a mess. That is a big black nose. All right, baby, I can't take it. Okay, okay. All right. He's got it all messed up, babe. All right, hold on. He is all messed up. We got a cluster going on here, guys. He's got it all messed up. He's got it all messed up. All right. Let's see if I can get him. All right, here we go. He's going to go nuts when I get him, guys. So, so. Okay, got him. All right. All right. Ready to release the bale? Where's that? Well, hey guys, if you want to see how to clean a medium size or a black nose shark, go ahead and click this link right up here. This will take you to another video where I show you how to clean a black nose. And also there's another video that I did a few months back, how to clean a small shark. And you can also check out that video. I'll put both the links up here and you guys go check those out. All right, Jetty Rockers, we're in the kitchen. And I got my shark steaks here. Real nice pieces of shark. Look really good. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to cut them up into some cubes, little bite-sized cubes. About like that, guys. Put them in this bowl over here. About like that. Basically what you want is some nice little bite-sized pieces. I'm 
last piece right here. That's a nice piece of meat right there, guys. Go ahead and cut this off right here. Nice thick piece of black nose. Really good fish, guys. Hope any of you shark fish them out there, you already know it's good. If you've never tried shark, give it a shot, guys. This is some really good stuff. Alright guys, all right, now we got all our, all our shark meat cut up, about like that, we got it in our little bowl, got it all cut up, got it in our little dish here, looks really good, the shark has a really nice pink color to it, it's really good meat, this stuff is really good, and what we're going to add to it is some soy sauce, just for a, uh, reduced sodium is the one I got here. Any soy sauce will work. We're just going to take some soy sauce here and we're going to put it all over the shark. And don't, don't worry about using a lot because you want this to soak in here pretty good. All right, I'm just going to move it around, make sure it gets all around that meat. it all in there and just try to cover it all up. Uh, what you're going to do guys is you're going to let this marinade in this soy sauce for at least 30 minutes and long up to an hour or even longer. The longer you let it sit in here the better it's going to taste. Real quick, I just want to add, you do not have to marinate shark for it to taste good. But for this dish, what we're going to do it with, you need it to have this soy sauce taste in it to make, to make the dish work. But you do not have to marinate shark to make it taste good. You can just clean it and cook it any way you want, and it's going to taste great. Okay, Jerry Rockers, while I got the shark in the refrigerator marinating, these are the other ingredients that we're going to need. We're going to need some General So's sauce. sesame seeds and we're going to use frozen uh, Asian seasoned vegetables what we're going to use for general soaps. Alright guys, my shark marinated for like 45 minutes. As you can see, they turned a darker color, which that's what you want. Means they soaked up a lot of that uh, soy sauce. So now I'm waiting for my oil to get hot and then I'm going to put my uh, frozen vegetables in the microwave and heat those up and we'll be ready to start cooking y'all. Alright guys, I got my uh, green light on my fryer, so I'm going to go ahead and take a handful of these shark cubes. Go ahead and put them in the basket here. We'll do about half at one time. Okay, about like that. So now, go ahead and lower it in the oil. Give it a shake. And let those cook. Right, guys, you want to let these cook until they get kind of like a little crust on them. Maybe about five minutes. And, you know, until it slows down the boiling process here and, and uh, you get a nice little crust. And we'll take them out and put them in another bowl. Alright guys, they're looking pretty good. I'm let them sit here and drain for a couple minutes or a couple seconds rather really good they got a nice little crust on them as you can see they look really nice put them right in there they're pretty good boy that smells awesome we'll go ahead and we'll add the, the last of them right here and we'll go ahead and put these in Let these cook. And our vegetables are almost done. All right, real quick, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of sauce on these ones right here. The summer wants some without the vegetables, so I'm just gonna get these coated in some sauce for her. A little bit more. Right, 
add a little bit of sesame seeds for. And there we go. And we'll plate these up for some of these up for summer. Alright guys, well, I got that second batch done. And Summer really liked it, so she's going to get some more. So I went ahead and decided to uh, cut up some more shark. I didn't marinate this though, I didn't have enough time. So I just cut up another steak of shark and got it in the fryer now. And then when they're done, we put this all together with the vegetables, the sauce, the sesame seeds. We'll be ready to eat. Right, guys, I got the last of my shark in there, and you can definitely tell the difference between the ones that were marinated and the ones that weren't. Hopefully it won't make too much of a difference. And I got my vegetables here. I'm just going to pour these in here. Ooh, that's hot. Pour those in there. You can use any kind of vegetables you want. This is just what we had, so this is what I'm using. Like that. That's pretty good. So mix it around. Like that. Now we're just going to add some sauce. sesame seeds in there, about like that, alright, I'm just going to mix it around guys, get everything nice and coated with a sauce, there we go guys, and that's what we come up with, put a little bit more sesame seeds on there, ready to plate this up. There we go guys. Here's our General Sows Shark. So we're gonna plate this up real quick. There we go. That looks awesome if I do say so myself. Looks absolutely delicious. Let's go try this out. Alright guys, well here we go. Here's my General Tso's chicken. It looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. And it even smells even better. So let's go ahead and try a piece of shark here. Hmm. <clears throat> wow. Holy cow. Gotta be honest with you guys, this is the first time that I've made this. This is something I came up with the other day. I'm trying to think of how well I'm gonna do for a, another shark catching cook since I've already done a couple. I wanted to do something different. And we're all a big fan of General Tso's chicken. So I was like, you know what? You can do shark just about any way you can do chicken. So let's do up my version of General Tso's chicken with shark. So I came up with this idea. I know this ain't the traditional way of doing General Tso's chicken. But wow, wow, wow. This right here is incredible. I mean... I am extremely shocked that I made this. I mean, this is... I'd pay you whatever you want in a restaurant for this. Hmm. I, I just can't believe how good this is. My mind is blown. That is just like the perfect marriage of everything, flavors. It's fantastic. 
it just works. First time I've made it, and it works. I mean, this is, wow. Usually everything that I cook for you guys is something I've tried before. I've tested it. I know it's pretty good. This was a brand new dish. <laughs> I love it. I will be making this again. This is outstanding. Well, guys, thank you so much for eating dinner with me tonight and hanging out with me for this video. I appreciate that very much, y'all. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to this channel. You guys are the bomb. I know I say it all the time. And I really, truly do appreciate you guys very much. I really do. Everything, your comments, your subscription, your thumbs up, your thumbs down, whatever it may be, any interaction that I get with you guys, I absolutely enjoy and I appreciate it. And every little thing helps this channel grow, and that's awesome. Well, guys, until I get to see you again soon here on the water, I'm going to eat the rest of this. Tight lines, Jody Rockers. Hey, Jody Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jody Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jody Rockers.